And Leslie Marcus joins us with more from her investigation. So, Leslie, we're dying to hear. What did you find? Now, keep in mind, these products are still on store shelves. These weren't part of the original recall for benzene. Five out of 12 products we tested contained benzene. And it was in high-end sunscreen, it was in kids' spray sunscreen, and regular drugstore sunscreen. And we still don't know how it got there. And that's part of the bigger problem, right? Because... There's talk that it happened somewhere in the manufacturing process. There was contamination, but we don't know for sure. So there's no way to really remove it right now. But the one thing consumers can do is go to Valisher's website and look at their recall list. It's very extensive. It has all the sunscreens that had benzene in it. It also has the sunscreens that didn't have benzene, and there were a lot. And they can go in their cabinets and see the lot number or batch number that exists on every single product. All you need to do is look at that. It's like an identification for each product cross-reference that with Valisher to make sure you're not wearing a sunscreen that has benzene in it. And you just randomly selected exactly. a few, so who knows how exactly. many other products? Well, I'll tell you what, we are going to go back to these companies and show them our findings, and we're going to continue this investigation, and we're going to get to the bottom of it, because it shouldn't be in these products. Consumers shouldn't have to worry that they're putting a carcinogen on their skin or their children's skin. And another thing I want to point out, F the FDA regulates sunscreen like a drug, but they're not going there checking these batches of sunscreen for impurities or contaminants. They leave that up to the manufacturer. So, you know, a lot of people might think they're, these are safe, but really the manufacturers should be doing a better job to make sure that there's no contaminated products on store shelves. I will say that I, when I went shopping, one big box retailer had a recalled sunscreen on their shelf. I picked it up. I tried to purchase it, but the register printed out a receipt that said do not sell. So that actually shows where technology is working for us, right? But people still should watch out when they're buying online from third-party sellers, and they need to look in their own cabinets and make sure that they don't have contaminated sunscreen in there. So, Leslie, you also found another concerning issue when it, when it comes to sunscreens. Researchers actually made a new discovery about a chemical in sunscreen called octocrylene. Now, this is a very popular chemical in sunscreens because it blocks UV rays. It's in BB creams, anti-aging products, all over the place. Well, researchers found that it actually degrades into a chemical of concern called benzophenone the longer it sits in your cabinet. And we all have sunscreen in our cabinets there for a year until it's sunny again, right? So it's putting people more at risk. And the FDA has not updated their sunscreen regulations for more than a decade. So consumers are left confused about what products are actually safe. Of course, the first thing you're wondering is why. Why haven't they updated it? And that's what makes people so upset and frustrated. And it's disappointing because, honestly, everything usually points back to money, politics, power. Exactly.